Welcome guys. Today we are going to look at how we can install, we can create a project in PyCharm uh, from GitHub or using uh, version control. So we are just going to start our PyCharm uh, project and while it's starting, uh, I'll navigate to my browser. I'm using Mozilla Firefox. I'm going to go into the GitHub uh, our website and I'm going to open uh, the repository, one of the repo uh, GitHub uh, repositories. So for those who are not familiar with GitHub, I'm going to add a link in the description below. So I've opened my GitHub repository and I'm going to select one of the projects, uh, which is uh, the PYQT project, uh, one of the projects that I did. Uh, you'll notice that on the left we have the loaded screen for PyCharm. So one thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy I'll copy the link to this uh, project and uh, I've opened in on the left side I've opened the get from version control and you have you can paste the repository URL from git mercurial or subversion uh, you can also add uh, from space github or if you have a github enterprise account so I'm going to click on code and so click on the that button on the next to the link and um, it has copied the link into the clipboard. I've pasted the link in the URL on the left side. And it uh, once I've pasted it, I'm just going to click the clone button below. And it will start cloning the project. So think of cloning as a, like it's uh, downloading this project into the computer. So it has already cloned the project. And uh, uh, the default a file that opens is a readme, the markdown file for readme for the project. And it has detected that we have a file return requirements.txt. Uh, so that contains the packages. Then uh, it is asking me if it can install the packages from the requirements.txt file. So I've said yes, I've clicked uh, load. So now while it's loading, it's, uh, it is installing these packages. But of course, first it starts with configuring the Python interpreter. And then it installs these packages. So the file folder or the folder system looks like, uh, if you look at the readme on the left, which is in the GitHub website and on the left, uh, they look more or less the same. So uh, you can also notice the background tasks below here. It is installing PYQT 5.5. So right now it is installing the packages. So you will notice that we have a requirements file on the left, uh, the file system, and it, these are the requirement, the required libraries or the required packages. So these are the packages that it is installing. So anytime if I, for example, decide to upgrade the project, I'll just come here and uh, select or specify the uh, upgrade the version using pip and uh, use uh, the pip uh, freeze command to update these packages. Yeah, so it's updating the indices. And you'll notice that it has created a V and V folder like in the previous video for the virtual environment for this project. So every, ultimately about every, each project contains a virtual environment. Uh, standalone virtual environment uh, unless you configure your project in another way so yeah so it is uh, still installing the packages and updating the index of the packages so PYQT is a library that is used for creating uh, graphical user interfaces um, and it's a cross-platform and it has both the open source version and the premium uh, version or enterprise version. So in this case, we are using the PYQT, uh, the open source uh, version. And it is a library that is developed by the River Bank uh, Computing. And uh, it has been initially developed in C++, uh, QT, the QT framework. C++. 
so we shall see we shall test after we have installed if these uh, packages uh, are working with the code so i will also share the github uh, repository uh, link in the description below so the updating of the python interpreter may take some time uh, depending on your uh, machine so yeah we are almost through with the updating of the indices yeah so we have completed updating the downloading and installing the packages so we are now going to navig uh, navigate to one of the files and we'll open the hello world dialog.py file uh, this is a code uh, for to display a dialog so we're just going to run I right click on the upper tab and run and it displays a dialog uh, hello world um, in the URL, in the title, and hello world uh, text. So that proves to us that you have been able to install our PYQT package. We'll also run another one under events. Uh, so this one, when you click the buttons, various buttons, it displays them. Yeah, so this is just a demonstration of how the PYQT event works. So it this proves to us that you've been able to install our PYQT uh, from the project. So we'll close PyCharm, uh, click like, share and subscribe.